Hi everyone, we are going to make um, lamb roast uh, in a pressure cooker and we've got six potatoes in some water, turmeric and salt and a teaspoon of oil and this water is just about one or two centimeter high from the bottom of the pan. We will boil it with the lid on for 10 minutes and then check the potatoes. We will be cooking on medium low heat. In the meanwhile, in the blender, we will blend um, one inch of ginger, three or four cloves of garlic and one green chili, which would amount to one teaspoon, one tablespoon of ginger paste and one tablespoon of garlic paste. washed uh, 1.4 pounds of lamb and this is the lamb shoulder cut into small pieces about one and a half pounds of lamb so in 10 minutes I have just boiled my potatoes and they are still on the harder side so I'm going to boil them for further 10, 10 minutes and again cover them with a lid and then check them after 10 minutes and the whole point of this exercise is that the potatoes become partly cooked. In a pressure cooker pan we will add about a tablespoon of oil. I've added about a tablespoon of the tomato paste. Mixture of ginger, garlic and uh, and the green chilies. Now I'll add about three tablespoons of yogurt. So in the oil I am frying um, seven eight pieces of uh, cloves because I like the smell of cloves and uh, then I added about two or three tablespoons of uh, tomato paste and because my tomato paste is frozen I have to go this way if it was not frozen it was fresh I would have added it in the marinade um, I would have just fried the oil with the cloves Those three tablespoons of yogurt and now I'm going to add the dry masala Brenda powder, a teaspoon of jeera powder, cumin of powder. salt, a teaspoon of uh, paprika and a half a teaspoon of haldi a tablespoon of vinegar I'm going to give it all a nice toss and uh, check the salt to taste and you have to adjust the salt to your taste teaspoon of red chili flakes, a teaspoon of uh, red chili flakes and now we will add the lamb. Now if I had time I would have marinated this lamb for a lot longer. I do not have the time. So I'm going to cook it straight in the pressure yes, cooker. Yes. The whole marinade with my hands, clean hands. And then I'll wash my hands and I will add this lamb to the tomato paste and cloth mixture. This mixture I will add the lamb and then give everything a good mix. Mm. Lamb to the tomato mixture, so I'm going to give everything a good stir and mix everything together. I'm going to add about half a cup of water and we will pressure cook it on medium low. So add half a teaspoon of garam masala to it and then I will pressure cook. We will now pressure cook this for 20 minutes and then on medium heat and then we will check the lamb boil the potatoes for 20 minutes and now we will add I've stopped cooking I will add the Brussels sprouts and then steam them through for another 10 minutes Brussels sprouts I'll give everything a good mix and you can see the bottom still has water so I'm just going to give it a quick stir and then steam them for another or medium low for another 12 minutes and then check things through and if there is we'll try not I'll try not to add more water and use up whatever we have so off it goes for another 12 minutes and I will stir it in between I'll season them with salt and pepper and I'll just move the dressing spot around I added some water and I seasoned it with salt and pepper and I added a little butter like about a tablespoon of butter and I'll give everything a mix and let it simmer for another 2-3 minutes. You can see the Brussels sprout is cooked 
and so are the potatoes. At this point, if your vegetables are soft and ready to eat, stop the cooking process and heat them up when it's ready to serve. Mines are, and I'm going to stop the cooking. So they have some butter, salt, and pepper to my taste. Lamb roast in 20 minutes, and I'm seasoning it with some salt because I think it needs some salt. And this is what it looks like, and I think it can cook for uh, another two, 20 minutes. Um, and I did add some cloves, and I could have added some black pepper to really add to the taste, but I don't have any at home, whole black pepper. So I'm going to mix everything and uh, then pressure cook it for a little more okay. wait for another 20 minutes. Check my lamb, and if you can see, things have really dried up down here, and it all looks like a good masala mix here. The lamb is ready to the roast is ready, the lamb is soft, I can stop the cooking and you can serve this with naan or with roti and with mixed vegetables. See you later.